there, you're seeing a lot of things in the in the hardware space too that's reflective of that. Like, yeah. you know, you're you're getting, um, you know, better performing GPUs. I mean, you're getting faster and faster SSDs, and you know, you're you're not really getting anything crazy at least until this this like current generation of like RTX cards and RX cards that have, um, you know, ray tracing capabilities, 4K capabilities at the previous cost of the previous generations but at the same time like my my gpu just because you know i haven't been able to purchase a new one because of scalpers you know it's it's still hanging in there like i can still run like modern warfare at ultra settings doom at ultra settings uh, apex at ultra settings it's like i'm not i just don't have the ability to take advantage of those you know other things would i want to of course and like to to Jason in the chat, um, you know, he's saying, you know, it's gonna you know, split a lot of people if Breath of the Wild Two is exclusive to Switch Pro. That's not gonna happen. I mean, they released Breath of the Wild One on the Wii U and the Switch at the same time, and it's silly to think that like, oh my God, this this new console is gonna segregate a lot of people. They're gonna be so who cares? Like, it's technology. It's gonna get better. It's not a complete, you know, hard stop on the system it's you know that that's like you said that iterate iterative release and just look back to at the release of the switch and how much they banked on breath of the wild if breath of the wild 2 has you know 4k upscale resolutions and it's on you know they have exclusive features to the new console it's going to move the console well you we're we're already yeah. seeing other companies do this look at playstation there's very little good reason to have a playstation 5 right now uh, there's there's no major exclusive. There's there's no like jaw dropping feature that the PlayStation Five that does that the PS4 can't. And we're kind of seeing that overlap of games releasing on both, but you got PlayStation dangling carrots over on the PS5, like what they're doing with Final Fantasy VII and me. And now they're making me go, oh, you want to play with with you, feet? You got to come over here. I think it's still going to happen on the PS4. I think they've just got to keep their trap shut because they want people to get it on the PS5. <laughs> that, that's fair. And I, I think I think that's a good level of skepticism that, you know, three months later, like, oh, you know, you guys, the, we, we got you, yeah. but let's throw a bone to the PS4 crowd. Um, but they're priming, like they're priming hard. The fact that Final Fantasy VII is a free uh, game on PS Plus this month, like it's it's all about these dangling carrots to get over and you know think back at the last couple generations of gaming i don't remember it being so blurry the line it was like no no you want to play these exclusives that's your ticket that's that's what you need to jump generations and then when there was enough exclusive kind of like pressure as a player you're like okay now i can jump in now it's worth my time to pick up these games and play but now it, it's just so like if you're if your graphic standards are you know, medium to low, you can stay on a on an older console a lot longer, even an older graphics card a lot longer. It doesn't change the mm, game. I think the word you're looking for is is choice. Yes, choice. <laughs> That's when the consumer wins. But but really, it really is. You know, because I mean, you look at the Series X right now and all the stuff that they're. I forget what it's called. It's called like Ultra FPS. I forget what they they just like talked about this only like a week ago. But like some of the older games as well that they're doing where they're going back and they're able to do 60 and 120 FPS. They have auto HDR now on some of those titles. And it's like, like it's, it, there's, there's, yeah, you can still play on an Xbox One S and like most games look like dog shit, but then you can go and play on a Series X and it looks phenomenal. And there's additional feature for older games, even on the original Xbox, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One. And so, you know, I, I think it's a good thing. Like, there's a lot more choice now. And, like, people forget there's a lot more emulation features that they can do with better hardware. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, you know, imagine if they're able to do some sort of upscaling for a 4K resolution for a 16-bit game. Or, you know, make Doom 64, you know, the original game look awesome. Or, you know, just, like, any of those things that they can especially harnessing the power of DLSS, like that takes hardware capabilities. You have to have, you know, the hardware capable to to run that AI to do the super sampling. So, you know, the, there are things that I think are going to turn some heads in terms of 
especially older games looking better but i feel like it's i mean it's been for almost five years like it's the right move yeah i think so too my switch has been well loved <laughs> it's like there's all the grid at the top is all broken and uh not for my own usage it's just been through some younger hands and i'm like i'm, oh. I'm ready for <laughs> for an upgrade 